Well, hello there, friends, and I have a fantastic show today. One of my restaurant's most popular appetizer for 22 years, Shrimp Sambuca. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make it. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, and ring the bell. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to make this amazing Shrimp Sambuca. Well, let me show you how simple it is to make that appetizer. You, for those of you that remember the Left Bank restaurant, that was a few years ago. <laughs> Um, uh, that's uh, before the cooking school. So anyway, that was the most popular appetizer. So I'm going to show you exactly how we used to serve it. If you like Sambuca, poo, you're going to be in heaven. If you don't like it, trust me, this is still an amazing sauce. And the beautiful thing is with this sauce, you can make it with shrimp, you can make it with, with scallop, you can make it with just putting it on top of fish. It's really an amazing sauce. But I'm going to serve it to you the way I used to serve it in my restaurant. Wonderful, okay? First thing we use, we use butter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> For those of you that are new to our channel, I'll have the pleasure to let you know that <laughs> then butter is one of our favorite ingredients. Yes. If not the favorite ingredient we have. So, let's talk real quick about mise en place. We got shallots. You know, I use those big Canadian shallots. They're fabulous. They taste amazing. I got tomato concasse, tomato that I, I've peeled uh, and diced and, 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 and um, peeled, seeded and diced. If you want to see how to do it, look one of my old videos. I did it 10 years ago, tomato concasse. <laughs> That's what it's called, tomato concasse. Anyway, it's peeled and diced tomato, right? You don't want to do that, get cherry tomato or chop a tomato, it doesn't matter. Chives, cream, uh, white vermouth, sambuca. You gotta put sambuca and the shrimp sambuca and, uh, and shrimp. And I use for shrimp, friends, I use the, um, the black tiger shrimp. Uh, black tiger, and you, I, don't know if, I don't know if you noticed, but I got my, my stove back. I got my gas stove back. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, so we got regular butter because we're not gonna let it burn, trust me. We're gonna put the shallots in there. We're gonna get them a little, little head start on the shallots, right? And we're gonna get them really, really quick. Let me get myself my spoon. And um, so we're gonna get this, uh, we're gonna get this uh, shallots cooked just for a second. And then we're gonna put the shrimp. And I mean, this is gonna be quick, let me tell you. This is a quick, quick appetizer. I mean, uh, uh, forget about appetizer. You know what you could do? Um, is you can use smaller shrimp and make the sauce and put it on top of a fish. I love it on top of a grouper, on top of a snapper, on top of the sole, but you use small shrimp for that, okay? So you're just making the sauce, the Sambuca sauce. And it's really, oh, oh jumbo lump crap. Oh, mama mia, I can think of so many things you can use with. So let's put the shrimp in there, friends. And those, like I said, they're black tiger shrimp, and they, they look gray like that, but trust me, they're wonderful. And they are cut. You see, they butterfly, but they're really, really cut so they can stand on their own. You'll see in a minute. You'll see the presentation that we're going to do with it. So, so they, they cut like really deep, okay? And, uh, and you'll see they're, they're going to be beautiful. They're going to turn gorgeous, right? So remember, shrimps don't take very long to cook. Like I said, do the same thing with scallops, all right? Then we're going to put the chopped tomato. Remember the chopped tomatoes have no seeds and they have no skins on it. So they go very fast, friends. They go very fast, right? This is a fast uh, surprise to... The regulars on the channel, uh, but for those of you that are new to the channel, normally we take our, <laughs> normally we take our time to cook. But lately, I want to do a few things. Wow, oh, it's hot! I love cooking with gas. So uh, lately, I've been wanting to uh, to speed up my um, my video a little bit. Okay, so a little bit of white vermouth. First, let's get the shrimp some some nice color. And like I said, I'm gonna make it for you exactly the same way. I used to make it at the restaurant. All right, so we gotta go pretty fast because this is go, this is, this is go pretty fast. This goes pretty fast. Little bit of um, white vermouth. And now, as much as I don't like, hey, you, hey, look at the same book on there. God bless America, look at this, that gorgeous. Yes, sir. So now, here's what we do. Remember, that's why I cut the shrimp, right? So now look, you can put them in top like this. You don't have to flambe it, okay? If you don't want to. Oh yeah, the smell, my friends. And then we're gonna put a little bit of cream. I told you it was gonna go fast. A Little bit of cream. 
Now, I, as much as I say, I was going to say, as much as I don't like uh, overcooked shrimps, I don't like undercooked shrimps also. I don't like undercooked shrimp also. So look, we're going to cook them just a little bit longer because I don't like transparent shrimp. I do not like transparent shrimp at all. So what we're going to do, we're going to finish the sauce. How simple is that so far? Salt and pepper, friends. Salt and pepper. Let's cook them up. Really good. They're getting almost white. I don't want them to see, so it's still transparent over there. I don't like when they're transparent. That's an end of cooked shrimp, that's all. And transparent shrimp is an end of cooked shrimp. And we don't want to end of cooked shrimp. So here's what we do, friends. We're almost there. Remember, chives, you put them at the end. You don't cook chives. You just put them at the end. That's enough. The steam is enough to release the flavor. Let's cook them just another second. You see, that's told you it was gonna cook, be quick. This is really quick. This guy's still a little uh, translucent here. We don't want no translucent shrimp. No, sir, we don't like translucent shrimp around here. We want it to be nice and cooked, you see? Right there, beautiful. Yeah, all right, so here's what I'm gonna do, friends. I'm gonna take them out of there. Because they're cooked. We don't want to overcook them. Yeah. See, we take them out, and then we're gonna finish the sauce. Now, if you're making a lot of sauce, let's say you're making a lot of sauce, what you wanna do is you wanna prepare yourself a little bit of cornstarch slurry. In case you make a lot of sauce, you, th you thicken it with a touch of cornstarch. But this is not a lot of sauce, this is a little bit. So all we need here is a little butter. And now remember folks, when you're putting the butter, you wanna make sure you really, really mix because you don't want the butter to separate, okay? Remember, butter separates. Butter separates. So we don't want it to separate, right? So here's what we're gonna do, friends. We're gonna prepare the plate. We're gonna do it like we used to do it at the restaurant, okay? Oh yeah, it's looking beautiful. So what we do, we take the sauce, we put it right there in the middle. Now imagine this on top of a fish also, right? Beautiful. Put it right there. And you take your shrimp, come to Papa you, right over there. You take your shrimp, you put them on top like this, you see? Give him four, what do you think? Four shrimp, right? And then you take, you take some chives, friends, right there. You put a chive over here. You put a chive over here. And you put a chive over here, my friends. And you see? Right there. You have yourself a beautiful appetizer that is so simple to make. And to make sure it's good, we take a fork and we take a knife and we make sure that this is delicious. Oh yeah, baby. Give me a little sauce. More there. Mmm. Mmm. The smell of the sambuca, the butter, the chives. Mmm. Cook to perfection. You can make this in a few minutes. See how simple that was? I hope you make it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get notification every time we do a video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week for another fantastic show.